think it's okay to start doing some light tennis and light jogging, but I think I would be pretty careful about how much you're spending up and down on your toes, yeah. how much time you're spending up and down on your toes at this stage. You can get Hello everybody, it's Felix here from the Tennis Brothers, and two weeks ago I broke my big toe. Um, so that's put me out of action for quite a while, and I need to get fit fast. Because I'm currently working with James Padfield at Sutton Tennis Academy um, in order to get me fit over the next few weeks. So now I'm going to see Luke from Bodies Under Construction, who's going to check the mobility and flexibility of my toe uh, to see what I need to work on in my fitness program tomorrow with James. So let's go. The big thing we need to make sure is that you've got enough extension of the big toe. Because when you're serving and you're coming up onto your toes or playing a smash or anything that involves you being up on your toes, yeah. you've got to be comfortable getting into that position. There's got to be enough range of movement there and, and, and comfortable enough for the joint and the yeah. toe to be in that position. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is kind of head over to here. So just have a look at the range of movement first of all. So what I'm trying to do is see how close you can get your knee towards the wall, so come further forwards without your heel lifting off the floor, and then I'm gonna compare it to your right side, okay? So, take this foot back a tiny bit more. Bit more, bit more, bit more, that's it. So you're gonna lunge, keep your hips square onto the wall. Now the important thing is not to let your heel lift up. If you cannot touch your knee against the wall, then slide your foot further forwards, and we're trying to find that point. So your calves are pretty tight, so I think a bit of flexibility. Good, slide back a tiny bit, tiny bit, maybe one centimeter, and then go again. Okay, right, keep your foot flat on the floor, don't move it, I'm just going to measure this distance here. Two centimetres, so the average is about ten. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so right foot forwards, left foot back, so calves are pretty tight. About there, heel just starting to lift off. So you've actually got more range of movement on this right hand side. Okay, stand facing towards me. Feel alright, any pain doing that? No. No? Let me know if this is sore, Felix. It. It's a bit stiffer on that side. Is that sore? I mean, it's not sore, I can just feel it's a bit stiffer. A bit stiffer, a bit tighter. Okay. Alright, so come and have a seat up on yeah. The ability to get your big toe into extension. So you can see on this side, yeah. you've, you've got a good amount of extension there and you can start to load it. It's not particularly painful when you do it, which is great when you do the car phrase, but I think. It's a little bit, it's not desperate, it's just a little bit stiffer. Yeah. Okay. Put the leg down. Okay. So push your foot down into my hand as hard as you can. Push, 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 and then back up. And then again, push. Good. Okay, now push your big toe down into my thumb. Push, 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 push. Is that sore? Good. Pull your big toe up into my thumb. Push, 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 push. I think I would be pretty careful about how much you're spending up and down on your toes, yeah. how much time you're spending up and down on your toes at this stage. You can get into the pool and do all that kind of stuff in the water because the buoyancy of the water will lift you up, pressure off the toe. So anything in the water is pretty much absolutely fine. So whether it's aqua jogging, doing sprints, 30 second sprints in the pool, um, doing some lunges, doing some squats, doing some calf raises, anything like that is fine in the water at this stage. <laughs> Standing or in, in seated, but just kind of put the ball underneath here and just roll through here, staying well away from that joint at the top of the big toe there. Yeah. Just kind of rolling through underneath the foot and just trying to iron out, loosen out any tightness that's under the plantar fascia underneath the foot. Yeah. But just don't go anywhere near this joint for now. So I think the feedback from Luke was really positive. I've got good flexibility and mobility in my foot, which I can keep working on by using the ball and also working on my stamina by using a pool. I will relay all of this information onto James, uh, who will then incorporate it into my training plan uh, to try and get me fit as soon as possible. If you think I'm going to get fit in the time before the Dusseldorf Open, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. And if you enjoy this video, remember to like and subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified as soon as the next video comes out. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.